Uh -huh. Rich Tenzo. Oh my god. Total opposite of him. He do be a bit of a short king. <laughs> god damn. How is he so alive? Sir, it's 4 30. It's 4 30. You're so awake. I feel like I'm just getting punched in the face first thing in the morning. Hello, welcome to today's vlog. Okay, sorry. Oh, my fiance goes, Tiffany, why do you look like you're going on a work trip? Welcome to today's vlog. Listen, if I look a little bit stressed today, if I'm not so smiley, giggly, hee hee, ha ha, life is so easy, bye. It's because I'm showing you guys a behind the scenes look into a day in my life. Welcome, Woo! welcome, welcome. So I actually am Tiffany and Grandpa Mango and Grandma Mango here. So we got an audience. <laughs> I'm a little shy. We have a lot of stuff planned today. We're doing a merch photo shoot. I think Dan Dan's coming over later. We gotta film a mukbang. There's just so much weird stuff going on. There might be some book updates, some other things. So I guess that's what we're doing. And you know what? On busy days like this, where I'm like, I don't even wanna think about doing takeout. I don't even wanna like think about cooking, but I wanna put some delicious, good food, nutritious food that's gonna fuel my body. I do that with the help of Hello Fresh and my fiance. Thank you 6 a.m. Stephanie for passing it over to 11 a.m. Stephanie. Welcome to Channel 5 HelloFresh News. Let me tell you, HelloFresh delivers quality produce from the farm straight to your door in less than a week. Okay, I love that with every single season. Like I talked about their spring flavors, like I talked about their spring recipes, but HelloFresh has new recipes to choose from and this summer, I'm talking cucumber salad stuffed pita pockets, chicken sausage stuffed peppers, Tuscan spiced shrimp. We're actually having a barbecue pool party this Sunday. We ordered cheese stuffed burgers with pesto aioli. I am so excited. We're gonna grill them up outside on the grill that we've never used. One of my favorite things about HelloFresh is that they're always listening to their customers. My whole family uses HelloFresh, even Andrew and my sister, and they always get a bigger box. They make their dinner, they take some leftovers since they're both working parents. They take it to work. And for us, if there's a recipe that we love but we want a different protein we can just swap out the protein we can add a protein to a veggie meal there is just so much variety so much creativity and HelloFresh even has kid friendly recipes for even the picky eating kids the step-by-step -step recipes that come in each box they're so easy to follow the ingredients come pre-portioned and all of it gets shipped to your door so with HelloFresh we cut back on so much cooking time I mean we can get a meal on the table in 30 minutes or less and it's perfect for a busy days like today. And they have so many different lifestyle options to choose from. Veggie, pescatarian, fit and wholesome. They have calorie smart offerings. And like usually when I hear calorie smart, I'm thinking, ugh, bland chicken, right? No. Sweet and spicy apricot chicken. Cheesy spinach and mushroom stromboli. Are you kidding? They are guaranteed to make you feel so full and so happy. And I love it. On top of it, it's the first carbon neutral meal kit company. And nearly all the packaging is recyclable. And you even cut down on food waste by 25% compared to going grocery shopping. So make sure you go to HelloFresh.com and use code MissMangoButt16. That's MissMangoButt16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. That's HelloFresh and use code MissMangoButt16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring today's news segment. And I'm going to hand it back over to 6AM Stephanie, who seemingly just can't get her together. See you there. Right now, it is currently 6.30, 6.26 in the morning, and uh, we got Grandpa Mango and Grandma Mango here, and I think this is gonna be their first time seeing this in person, and I'm so excited, and they're gonna have no reaction, and it's not because they don't love it. I've learned to realize that they just don't really have a reaction to things, so I'm not gonna let it affect me, because I might cry. <laughs> their reactions are very, like, mild. Just imagine everything times a hundred. Let me show them, let me show them. Look at this. Wait, so we got this stamp inspired yes. by grandpa's stamp. It says ye ye de hua, means grandpa's art. Mm -hmm. And then you see the grandpa logo around. Grandpa Am I touching? Mango. You can touch your boy. <laughs> yes. And then in the back. <laughs> he said he's seen it, he's seen it. You should, we showed them the picture already, I did. Say what? 
<laughs> but he is very excited. I'll tell yeah. you, ever since I showed him this design, <laughs> every week he's like, So, uh, how many how many have we sold? <laughs> I'm like, we haven't even got the shirt yet. Okay, let me tell you why we haven't even got the shirts out yet. This was a struggle to do. This is my fiance's great idea. What he wanted to do was, okay, he's thinking, everybody has a different art that they love. So why don't we do made-to-order printed hoodies? Which means the whole inventory of all of Grandpa Mango's art would be available to buy on the back of a crew neck or a hoodie. And so we're like, this is such a good idea. We're talking to FanJoy. They're like, we can totally make that happen. The website's gonna be complicated because imagine having like a hundred different SKUs, blah, blah, blah. Really complex. Then we find out that most made to order prints, you would think that it's higher quality. It's actually not because there's so many different designs and they just print it when you make it. So it's just, it's really difficult to make it a good price and make it good quality. So we had to sit there and they're like, okay, well, if you don't want to do that, what else can we do? And we're thinking and we're like, okay, let's just drop like three of the favorites of everybody. They're the ones on the back of the hoodies and you guys can see them later. But we're also going to do a giveaway, which I'm so excited about. I haven't told him yet. I thought you told him and got his permission. No. I haven't told him yet. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't know what's happening, but we're gonna do a giveaway for these and it's not I've never done a giveaway like this I'm so excited. So essentially if you guys purchase one of the grandpa mango art studio um, Merch pieces then at the end I think in two weeks like two weeks from launch date We're gonna pick three winners because there's three different designs and they're gonna be random winners It's not even about like who buys the most or anything just random winners and they're gonna get the originals so three different originals. So the, they're gonna get the piece that's on the back of the yeah, shirt. Yeah. So we packed these yesterday. This is how we prep. There's so much stuff. This is why I like to do more photo shoots at home, just because it, there's so much gear. We had to pack lights, tripods, mango got in there a million times. The vibe is street style. We bought this super ah. sick chair. Ooh, Ooh, the bottom is so pretty. <gasps> the oh, bottom is the prettier. The highlight though, yeah, we're gonna change change grandpa style. Show show the outfit real quick. Oh, sorry, this yeah, is yeah. Outfit right now. Oh my yo. gosh. Yo. Don't say yo. Don't look at say this. yo. Can look you at try this. it? Can you put it on? No, stop. Hey. Stop. You look like you're about to swat someone's hey. <laughs> Why are you guys walking this thing? Okay. Oh my These God. are Yeah's pants. Some really sick. <laughs> Design. And then we got this Chinese tassel to hang on to it. <laughs> <laughs> My grandma doesn't like it. We're about to put a beanie on Grandpa Mango. You ready for the oh, reveal? Take some, take some for the oh, reveal. <laughs> <laughs> So we just got to the photo shoot location, which by the way, did you guys know I once ran away from a photo shoot location? <laughs> we were so scared. This was in like downtown LA. We booked a spot. I took two photos, terrified, ran out. But there's a lot of people today, so I feel good. Listen, I don't like just bottles of cleaning stuff. I get it, it's hygienic, but it's creepy. It scares me a little bit. What is that? Is that a weapon? No, I gotta stop being so creepy. Okay, this is so cool. Look at this. So this is a circle. We can change the lights to any color. And then there's these side lights. I think this is the one that I want to use the most, but we'll see. I'm doing nothing. I'm so useless. Let me set up a tripod or something. Hello. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> what do you Boom. think, Whoa! Boom. This is not a freeze frame. <laughs> not a freeze frame at all. This one is one of my favorites. This one's new. Yeah. Oh, they haven't seen this one. They haven't yet? seen this one yet. Are you kidding? This, no, we're launching this. It's going away too. Look at how pretty she is. Yeah. So I think we're gonna switch it up. I don't know if it's gonna look good. We don't even have any lighting set up, but. It looks uh, cool. I like it, I think. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> we really need that light. I 
I feel so uncomfortable. Okay, I think that's a wrap. We're just packing up some things, but it's so freaking hot. I had to change into the shorts. <laughs> we have officially wrapped at 8.09. And then, how are you? Good morning. Did you see the grandparents? Yeah, I did. Uh, how'd you feel? How do you feel seeing the first uh, thing in the I mean, morning? I, like, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to see them. Yes. Uh huh. Just uh -huh. a little nervous. It's like, it's like I know, me too. too early for this. I know, seriously. I feel like I gotta be on my best behavior, you know what I mean? You wanna see? I already don't like my hair. In so we took some pictures oh, today. Is this from today? Brett, from today. This. Oh my god. Y'all look badass. But this is actually lit. Isn't it lit? She's a model now, bro. She's a model. Ah! He said the background is so good. It matches so well. Yeah. Yes. All right. Good job, y'all. Yay! Good job. Good job. Now my mom's here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Grandpa Mango wearing Jordans, dude. Oh my God. He's wearing Jordans. The fan, tall, rich, handsome. Oh my God. Total, total opposite of him. He, he do be a bit of a short king. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like taking pictures. That's why I don't upload on IG as much. And I should. That's something I should do. But I will Damn. say, it's just hard. Wait, I thought this was a box of mooncakes when they brought it in. I'm not gonna so lie to you. He brought <gasps> over his little stamps. You know, I know how to make this wow. myself. I used to do this during summer breaks. Uh -huh. It would take me, take me a few days to carve like a stamp. <gasps> oh, wow, it's it's like not even a stamp. Yeah, it's like an yeah, ink. Yeah, it's an ink. actual thing. Wow. What you do is, let's say, do a small one, right? You go ahead, get some ink on there. Wow. Hey, <laughs> hey I may actually get a tattoo like that. This guy Why? is thinking about getting 25 million different tattoos. <laughs> He's reaching out to all these tattoo artists, asking if they do house calls so they can come to the house and he can work with the other hand. Wow. While he gets like a full sleeve done or something. Okay, this guy is cool. insane. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get some work done. I need to do some computer work. Here's what I've been trying to do with the podcast, with Rotten Mango. And I don't talk about Rotten Mango a lot, but this is like my baby, okay? I am trying to make every single episode and it's weird to say that but I feel like that's how you get people to really care about a story is to make it feel kind of like an experience if that makes sense so I've been trying to elevate like the flow of each episode and I spend sometimes I'll spend like an entire day just trying to organize in my head how I want to tell the story in a way that it hits all the parts I want people to connect with the victim otherwise every true crime case feels like a true crime case and it's like oh People are dying, right? So I'm finishing up one of the podcast researches and I think I should be done. I don't think I'm gonna have time to film it today. Hopefully I can film it tomorrow, but that's the plan for now. Can I just say something? You know, I'm a little self-conscious about this B-roll of me working because I'm gonna be honest. Most of the time when I'm working, my neck does this. <laughs> does what? your neck do this? Most of the time, I'm yes, like this. Yes. I'm yes. like this. <laughs> I'm like. We all do that, right? <laughs> the hello fresh for lunch oh yeah everyone's just staring at me eat because it looks good <laughs> yeah, i'm gonna fix the plate for everyone it's so good i love it because i don't have to cut <laughs> <laughs> Switch out the cameras because this feels fancier. This feels like a vibe. You can see my stress in H freaking D. We hired someone to do the Rotten Mango podcast artwork, right? Because I realized that a lot of true crime podcast art, they don't do like a picture of themselves, which sounds conceited. Why did I do a picture of myself? Yeah, because when I first started Rotten Mango, it was like, hee hee ha, you know, let me just upload a random picture. And now it's been years. Now it's time to switch it up, right? So I hired someone, paid them like $1,200 to do art, which is, I did not know is that expensive. Honestly, I was budgeting for like $300. So I went with it and... <laughs> should have asked Grandpa Mango to do it. <laughs> oh, no! Whoa! First of all, rotten is spelled wrong. 
Second of all, Mango is Man 60. Rotan Man 60. <laughs> it's not even my podcast name. And then this doesn't look like me. <laughs> kind of, kind of. I see you, kind of. I mean, I guess. And then this is supposed to be my fiance. You look like my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> Looks like a demon. So the idea of this artwork is that I'm looking down a rabbit hole with my fiance. Does that make sense? Uh, and maybe I'm even trying I to. I thought it was that you're like you push yeah. me down or something. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Raton Man 60 is a no go. <laughs> I think of it as overall it looks like an eyeball. And <laughs> no, 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 like the whole thing, like the yeah, circle. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And yeah. then. You're like in the perspective. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board. In fact, I think that we might have to find somebody else to do the art because there's, I'm not gonna lie, this person is really talented, but I should, ah, this is my mistake. I should be looking for people who know, already know how to do the type of art that I wanna do. Instead, I saw this person and I was like, wow, they have a lot of pretty art, so then this is what happened. This is like the the boring stuff I feel like I never show because it's not even that interesting, but hopefully when you see it next time, what I was going for is kind of like that Stranger Things comic book vibe. Mm. It's not like a crazy comic book, it's not pop art, but there is like this almost fun, creepy animated aspect mm. to it. But then, this was the other draft that they gave me. Whoa. But it's still and not it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Can I show you something really cute though? Should I just use this <laughs> as my art? Should I just use this as that my art? That looks like a mango. I like that. <laughs> Okay, that's my daily dose of serotonin. You know, I call my sister and I'm like, where's the child? child? Give, Give me the, the child. child. She gives me so much serotonin. Why don't I have my own serotonin, human baby? That's not serotonin. That's not serotonin. <laughs> that's stress. That's and <laughs> yeah, like that's a financial pit of despair as well. I just got this package. Honey, are you checking out my butt? Can you please get out of my behind area? What are you doing? I want to show you guys a couple of things that I got. First thing, okay. First of all, beautiful packaging. I love their stuff because it just feels so good on my hair. And then they have these vitamins that are the biotin gummies for your hair. Tastes delicious. You don't even understand. Literally, I have the Vegamore one, but it's a scalp massager. Did you know massaging oh your scalp makes your hair grow faster than anything else? That is not scientific. That's something that I read on Google and I believed it wholeheartedly. Honey, can you pass me that box behind you? And this is what I was telling you on the podcast if you were listening to it. This is liquid death. <laughs> I get them with these packages. I literally order them. And it tastes so good. I gotta fill up the fridge. Den Den, what do you think this is, huh? It looks like an energy drink to me. Den Den, why don't we do it like a chuggy test yeah. contest? But you're gonna get, do you get red when you're drunk? Wait, that's an alcohol? Yeah. Oh. Okay, then get on your knees. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. No, like, like this. Yeah, okay, okay. Ready? Cheers. God damn. Oh, You guys are so gross. I'm tearing up because it's like <laughs> so sparkly. I just finished some of the rotten mango stuff and now, okay, the problem is sometimes I do feel like I'm juggling a lot of different balls so I try to group it throughout the day so I don't want to do like a rotten mango thing and then go back to rotten mango and then back and forth and back and forth but sometimes you can't prevent it now I'm working on the backdrop for the mukbangs and this is like a whole <laughs> a whole little loop that I found myself in where I keep wanting to outdo the last one and then I just find myself in this vicious circle where I feel like none of the backdrops are good enough but they all turn out really well in the end. The bakery one, usually what I do is I get randomly inspired. Let me show you guys the inspo pics for the bakery one that I did because hey also what's your favorite backdrop so far? So this is how it started. I saw this picture on Pinterest of this almost it's a French bakery in Korea, and everything about it, the white linen cloth, just the airiness, the clean feel. I wanted to go to this bakery just by looking at this picture, so I'm like, okay, maybe I can some... <gasps> That's cute. I should put some oranges in there. Should I do a fruit market? Oh, no. There's so many markets. So many markets. <laughs> so, so that, you know, this is the inspo pick. I found a couple more. That's just food picks. <laughs> what is the next one? 
This is why I brought you in this room because I have a question I need to ask you. I'm a little bit stressed. With Halloween coming around, and I know Halloween doesn't seem like it's coming around anytime soon because it's only June and it's in October, but it's coming around soon. You don't understand. Backdrops take like a month and a half to prep in advance because a lot of that is straight from China. I'm not talking made in China, sold on Amazon Prime. I'm talking shipped from China when I order it and it'll take two years and my sister will probably have her third kid by then. Like, it takes so long, okay? So I wanted to do some airy, some like different vibes before we get into spooky season, before we get into the fall and winter seasons, which I'm so excited for. I already have so many thoughts about that. This is the inspo pick. I found this on Mother's Day. I bought a bunch of flowers for Mother's Day from a place called JJ's Flower Shop, and I was on their Instagram, creeping on their flowers, and I see this picture wow. of this flower wow. cart. It says JJ's Flower Cart. So my brain is this flower market, okay? This wow. flower market. Came up with some things in this little noodle, okay? Let me show you a little, little, little sketch. <laughs> wow! Then then that's you with the hair! <laughs> I did not have that hair! Okay, let me show you above it though. This is the main inspo pic. These are other inspo pics that were gathered on Pinterest. And then, this is like a sign. The minute that I started this, God7 came out with a music video for Na Na Na. Which, amazing song by the way. But the whole music video was flower theme. That's pretty. And I was like, is that a sign I need to do this flower market, right? <laughs> sure. So then I drew it out. Now this is the problem. This is the reason. This is the reason that we're having a meeting today. Dear sharks. Oh, I like this. As you can see, the vision is there. And as you can see, the labor is there. The passion is there. But it will take a thousand dollars. To buy the flowers. Stephanie, I got that. I'm out. <laughs> and you know, you would think that because it's on camera, you could just get the cheap ones and no one will know. They'll know. People yeah. know. And then it's all about like the dimension. Like flowers. you need a lot of flowers. How do they know? They freaking know, dude. Wow. And I'm okay. thinking, okay, so what keeps happening is that every time that there's a new backdrop, um, the budget just keeps increasing. And just like every, like literally progressively, each backdrop has cost more and more and more. And I just keep wanting the backdrops to be better, but then I also don't want to spend more money because it's like such a risk. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I know, but like, what if people don't like it? What if it doesn't even work out? Do you, do you know there are like a couple backdrops that you never saw because they just didn't make the cut? So, what if it's one of those? I mean, technically I could repurpose the flowers, but it would just be not ideal. I wanted to do something summery before we get into spooky season. Don't you feel like this is kind of the summery vibe that we're looking for now? Yeah, for sure, for sure. And then I didn't want to do another food related one because we had the market, the kitchen, and the bakery. Dun dun! What's the? Is that like a swing on that side? Yeah, <laughs> just trying to repurpose things. Wow. We did a swing for Sophie's, uh, no, not Sophie, Mia's gender reveal. And so I'm like, maybe I, I can put it. some flowers on there. Then it's settled. I think I'm just gonna order these. Thank you for all the support on the book. I was expecting, generally going into that video, I was expecting like 60% negative comments being like, ooh, another YouTuber and a book? Like, stay in your lane. Bitch. You don't know how to do shit. Like, just eat food and make a video. But everybody was overwhelmingly positive. So what happened to me after that? Of course, I was very thankful and very grateful, but I was paralyzed by the expectation. Negative, deceased. Oh my god, people are excited. They're waiting for me to release the book. The book that I need to write and make sure that it's worth the release and make sure that they like it. What if all the positivity turns into mass disappointment and what if everybody just says, wow, I'll never give her another chance. But I wanna say thank you because genuinely I was so shocked. <laughs> I look crazy, but look at this lighting. We were just in the book room and it was so bright and I come outside and it's dark. Welcome to Georgia. It's Dude, the rains are crazy in the summer. Oh, and then you go outside and you're just choking <laughs> with humidity. The rain has 
deceased. We were working on some computer stuff. I was finishing up some Rotten Mango stuff and it's now time for dinner. You're like, Stephanie, the sun is still out. We like to eat dinner a little early these days. Listen, I was gonna film a truffle pasta mukbang, right? And I bought these really expensive truffles and I had them shipped to the house. Shipping cost $80. And then I realized that I didn't like the story that I prepared for the mukbang. It just wasn't cutting it, you know what I mean? I did some QC. You like that? I just started it. <laughs> so we're not gonna film a mukbang. I'm just gonna eat it because it's actually gonna start molding soon. In fact, I think it's already starting to mold. You have to wrap it in paper towels. Some of it is molding. Okay, let's just eat yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it anyway. That's a truffle. This is a truffle. How much was this? All together we're shipping like $300. Look at this, guys. Wow. What oh, the smell, though. Oh, I wonder what that is. <laughs> That's it's a truffle. truffle. <laughs> I, know, I know, but it just looks like. It's a mushroom. Oh. It's so strong, so rich. It's better, like more room temp. If I, I'm gonna put it on pasta. Here you go. So on pasta, it's gonna be better. Ready? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not, not worth it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not worth it. No, try it on pasta. It's always better paired with something creamy or buttery, like an egg yolk or some sort of butter or some sort of like cheese. I was waiting for this special occasion to eat this. This is the new Shin Pokumyeon. Bro, Shin Ramen, but dry. Dry Shin Ramen. I've heard amazing things about this, and I was like, ooh, when am I gonna eat it? When is it gonna be special enough? With truffles. I'm gonna top what? it with truffles. I mean, you are literally, no, like I'm gonna top it with truffles. A little bit of parmesan, and then we put the truffles. And then, you know what they do? You know what they do at the super rich restaurants? I've only had this experience one time, and I wish to repeat it for the rest of my life. <laughs> you know how usually at like a pasta restaurant, they do the cheese. Right, right, right. I didn't pay for this meal. Oh, else yeah. Did. They were slicing the truffle and say, Tell me when to stop. It was like, Tell me when to stop. No. So eventually they did, but it was a lot of truffles. They were white truffles, and it was my first time having truffles, like the real truffles, not like an oil. My mind was blown. Oh my gosh. I wish I could go back. I'm sure I would have shot myself if I saw the bill. Wow, I'm so excited for this shit ramen and truffle. Listen, if I'm losing my mind, it's because it's pretty late, but are you guys ready for this? This is the shin ramen. Oh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm putting expensive trouble on a shin ramen right now. That's freaking crazy. This feels illegal. That's not even a lot and half the truffle is gone. <gasps> I think that's a lot, honey. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never seen people go that ham on top. Okay, sorry. And that's some pasta. Wow, this is like a carbonara pasta. Oh my god, the, the scent is crazy right now. Oh, I feel like all the chefs are quaking in their boots and they hate me right now and they want me to die. I can't believe I used an entire truffle right now. All right, forks everyone. Spread the love, here you go. Okay, Dada, you come here and let me see your face when you try truffles on Shin Ramen. Try it. Oh, it smells good though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That don't work. It doesn't work. Wow. All I taste is Shin Ramen. Yeah, same. Okay. Yeah, but okay. this is so good. Okay. But we're gonna eat that later. Yeah. Now let's try that. Okay. This is a spinach ravioli, I believe. Truffle ravioli. Ready? Did you taste it? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Oh my god. Wait, this tastes like pizza. Bruh. I mean, at least for me. Oh my god, wow. and it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. The mushroom flavor it's really is mushroom. on display. Mm. Well, this is good. Come on, if this carbonara pasta with the truffles is mm. no good, I'm gonna die. Mm. Oh my god. Wow, fantastic. Mm. Oh my God, it's so light. It's I so feel light. like white truffles are stronger. I might be wrong, but am I doing something wrong? All I did was slice the truffles, come on. Oh, but 
Shin ramen. <laughs> you know what? Does someone bring the shin ramen back up? <laughs> Come on. Yes. And I think this is how we're gonna eat dinner, just standing up because it's yes. so good. We'll be right back. This is not a mukbang. Dog, it got so wild up with the basketball. <laughs> okay, wow, that was insane. Currently, it is eight o'clock right now, and I feel like I did nothing and a lot today. It was a weird day, so I'm just. <laughs> God. <laughs> tomorrow listen the one thing I can say is if you guys want a video on why we started waking up at 4 30 it has been life-changing I did this thing where for months I was tracking like what time I would wake up and then oh I do this thing which I highly recommend I track my mental state and my productivity every single day. I sound hustle culture, that's so lame. But you should definitely track your mental state every single day, more importantly than the productivity, because sometimes you just need to know what triggers you. And I even started writing down like what happened. So for example, last Monday was a really bad day for me, not just productivity wise, but mental wise. And in my little planner, it said that I started the day with overwhelming planning and it just went downhill from there. Like I was looking at like a week overview of everything I had to do the next week, first thing in the morning, and then everything I had to do that day and I just got so stressed that I did nothing. <laughs> I'm planning out my day tomorrow and I think we're gonna shower and sleep. I sound hustle culture, that's so lame. Yeah, maybe we'll play some mobile games. I feel like that's usually how we end the night. And oh, since yeah. everybody's here, maybe we won't even do that. Maybe we'll play the um, the Nintendo. There's a game called Overcooked. You can only get it on like game consoles. You can't get it on your phone, okay? This is hashtag non-spots. But it's a game that, that makes you wanna kill everyone, everyone you play with. Like you have to run a restaurant together and things start burning, things, late orders, angry customers. You can actually go into negative money. What does that even mean? You owe customers money, is that what that means? It's so insane. Sometimes there's always a sabotager in the group who's doing nothing. Uh -oh. <laughs> nothing. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. My fiance, okay? My fiance. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you guys like more videos like this. I always feel a little bit weird with videos like this because I feel like I'm not actually talking to you. I'm just showing you what I'm doing and I think it's a little, I don't know. I just feel a little uncomfortable. But let me know in the comments and I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to check out HelloFresh linked in the description because hello is a no-brainer. I'm sorry. The jokes are not strong. It's eight. I gotta go. Love you. Uh